Okay, this is a Sears Kenmore 1430 from the Marus and uh, Jaguar factory. Um, and uh, basically, I'm trying to help somebody who's got a frozen up stitch uh, width lever. Okay, this is the stitch width lever. Um, and basically, okay, for doing like a zigzag stitch, you have it on here. But you'll notice that as you turn your... Um, Watch how all these pieces move and should move. Well, nobody uh, as, Darren. as as I am turning the stitch selector, all of these parts need to be able to move. And that does include this little part too. Um, let's see, let me get it back on straight stitch, zigzag stitch. And when I get it back to straight stitch, zigzag stitch, see how that piece here has to be able to move okay um so that's what these pieces are going to do up here when you're turning the um what when you're turning this stitch selector dial and then when you turn this one now if you've got it set for a zigzag stitch like okay sorry your yours i know yours isn't turning up here all the way yet um but uh when you want to turn it basically See how this is moving over here? This is the what I call the plunger, but it's apparently called a piston. And that one needs cleaned and oiled, and, uh, and it needs to be able to actually move back and forth like this. But see, this little bar down here has to be cleaned front and back, too, in order for that to pivot like it needs to. You'll need to make sure, of course, to oil, uh, clean and oil these little areas right here. But this bar right here needs to go, it needs freed up, and look what it's doing here. That is what it needs to be able to do. So you need to, all those pivot points for that need to be freed up. But watch, I'm hoping this is going to be able to see down inside here as I turn the stitch. Eh, I can't see which, I can't see it doing well enough I don't see see that down in there it's really hard to see to get to these points but notice that see how that bar it's going up and down a slide and that has to be completely freed up are you oh good hey you can actually see there we go yeah you can see the parts down in there that are going up and down those have to be freed up completely in order for the the stitch width to function so those are the things you need to free up and it's it's there's a lot of different places to oil in here um, to get freed up in order to get the zigzag mechanism going on this i have a 1430 that had the zigzag stitch width mechanism frozen up but it also had so many other parts that were missing and or broken that we parted it out um, if i can get it where I can show you uh, um, some of the problem places. I'll try and do a video of that if I can. Um, but anyway, hopefully this helps you see the way the parts should move so that it tells you where you need to clean an oil.